Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to get your attention to gather into one around the breath. So you're with the breath all the way in, and you're with the breath all the way out. Your thoughts don't go running out like little frayed bits of thread. Try to keep all the threads here together. Try to make the mind one. We're dedicating merit in these days to the, the king who passed away a few days ago. And so you'd, we do it by, by being generous, by observing the precepts, and by meditating, and then dedicating the merit of that to, them, to him. But the meditation is the highest form of merit because it deals with the source of all the problems in the world. It cl clears up the problems in the world. If you clear up your mind, that takes care of everything else. So you want to get the mind in good shape. Make it one, the kind of mind that you would be happy to give as a gift to somebody else. We do this because we're, we have a lot of gratitude for the king, and also because, as the Buddha also always said, when you learn of someone's death, you should reflect on the fact that you're going to die someday too. That the person passed away was a good person like the king, who did lots and lots of good for the country. And his goodness is spread here into the States. We wouldn't have what made that if it weren't for the king. He kept Thailand together at a time when it was about to fall apart, and they kept Buddhism there alive. And if, he hadn't, if he hadn't done that, then there wouldn't have been any Buddhism for us to go and study. So we should have some gratitude for the goodness he's done for us. And so we dedicate the merit to him wherever he is now. The merit of our generosity, the merit of our virtue, the merit of our meditation. At the same time, though, we should reflect on ourselves. The same thing is going to happen to us someday. We're going to pass away too. What do we want? What do we want to leave behind? Do we want to leave people who miss us and have gratitude for us, or what kind of, or what do we want? Stop taking a look at your own life right now and decide what you could do that would be a good gift for the world. That's why you take the example of good people who've gone before, and you make sure that it doesn't die in this world. And there's so much going on right now. Everyone seems to be clamoring to break human society apart. So we should do our best to what we can do to bring things back together again. And one of the ways of doing that is by searching for goodness in a way that doesn't harm anybody, searching for our happiness in a way that doesn't harm anybody. Again, the generosity. When you give, you gain. Other people gain. When you're virtuous, when you observe the precepts and you abstain from unskillful behavior, you gain the, the virtue of a clear conscience, and other people gain the results of not being oppressed by you. And especially when you meditate, you take care of the greed, aversion, and delusion in your mind. Don't give them any power. When they don't give them any power, they don't go wandering out attacking other people outside. So in this way, we, by finding happiness in these ways, we create harmony in the world, which is something the world needs a lot of right now. So when you reflect on the example of someone who's been really good, like the king, and other people have gone before him. Remember, that's something you can carry on in your own thoughts and words and deeds as well. And that's the best way of showing gratitude. And at the same time, it's the way of showing heedfulness. This is where heedfulness and gratitude come together, by doing good and continuing to do good, and learning to develop the strength of mind that enables you to stick with it until the time comes when you have to go as well.